come to module 4 which is a defined phase module so define comes from the demac methodology which we are going to use uh, in order to implement six sigma or a lean six sigma project okay so uh, the demac methodology as we have studied earlier we can implement this methodology or we can use this particular methodology when we want to improve our existing process whereas the other methodology which is a dm and dv methodology which we use in the design for six sigma project so in a demand methodology uh, d stands for define measure analyze improve and control and in every phase of the demand we try to answer certain questions uh, questions answers okay so what is the question we are going to address in the define phase which is what is the importance of this particular project to our business okay in order to answer this question in a narrow sense we first of all try to identify while we are solving this particular problem who will be get the benefit that means who is our customer okay as we have discussed earlier that the customer would be the internal or the external customer okay so we need to identify who is the customer okay who is going to benefit from this particular project and what are their requirements okay what they want from us okay however we would be able to improve according to the requirement of the customer furthermore we try to answer what would be the expected benefit of this particular project in terms of financially in terms of the customer satisfaction perspective okay let's say if we are saying currently the customer satisfaction level is 70 percent and we want to improve it to 80 percent or 90 percent furthermore we try to answer how long would it take to complete this particular project so we try to capture all these things in the defined phase okay trying to identify the customer trying to requirement of the customer okay uh, what is the financial benefit of doing this particular project okay or either we can mention that how much the satisfaction level increase of the customer after completing this particular project and how long would it take to complete this particular project so in a defined phase in order to answer this question we address these issues first of all in order to identify who's the customer and what is his requirement okay his or her requirement we can use the voice of the customers too such as the Keno model help us in order to identify under what certain situation customer is going to be satisfied under what circumstances he is going to be unsatisfied or he will be delighted okay in order to convert this voice of customer or uh, the requirement of the customer we can use quality function deployment tool or also known as house of quality to translate this voice of customer into the voice of process means into the product or the service so this house of quality help us to uh, exactly converting the requirement of the customer into the product or the service perspective then we also talk about uh, seven new management planning and management tools so which basically help us to develop house of quality basically uh, there are some tools from the 7m management tools which are uh, used in the house of quality so before discussing the house of quality we first discuss the 7 management tools and then we will discuss about the house of quality so with the help of these we would be able to identify what the customer want from us what's the requirement of the customer and how we can convert those requirements into the voice of the process or the product or the services then we will develop a project charter which is basically a document in which we mention all the things what are the benefits uh, of doing this particular project how long would it take to complete this particular project what would be our critical to quality or what would be our kpi and so on so all the things are mentioned in this pro project charter which is basically the you, know, you can say a document which is indicating the starting and the improvement perspective okay and lastly we have the project tracking that in order to identify how long would it take to complete this particular project so for that we will learn some tools such as critical path method or the can chart so i hope you got the idea what what kind of topics we are going to study in this defined phase so see you in the next video